go. Oh, can you hear me? <laughs> can you hear me now? <laughs> can you hear me now, Josh? The voice of Spirit Cars forgot to be turned the voice on. So, anyway, we have just converged on the target zone. If you didn't hear me in the first time, Larry, this one's all about you. Um, I'm BC, the voice of Spirit Cars, and we're going to talk about uh, today. We're going to talk about a little custom stuff. But Josh is pretty excited. We put a lot of LED lights up. You can kind of, whoa, this is, we got some serious lighting going on. Got a couple more to go, but... That's we're going nice. green. We're going green, and it's saved. We did half of them a while ago, and saved, what, a couple hundred bucks a month? Yeah. So we get them all done, it's going to be better. So Anyway, today, we put this flash pan on. We showed Larry, and Larry, if you're live with us, we're open to all your comments here. So I just kind of put it up here, had it sitting here, and uh, said, do you like that? Okay, he likes it. We built this piece uh, for a, a sedan. We do a Model A sedan. So it fits our sedan, but it didn't fit our coupe, but it was sort of close. And uh, sort of close is good enough to start with. And we're at a place now where, we, we the other day, I, I wasn't, we didn't do live Thursday or Friday, I don't think, but Wednesday, a friend of mine, Bob, was in, and uh, we talked about the PIA charge. In the, in the collision world, there's certain standards. The journeyman body, man, you got to get it done. You got to go. You got to do. Um, in the hot rod world, it's a little different. Uh, it's not all about high speed, get it done. There's a lot of a lot of home builders out there, and I'm sure I'm, there's a lot of them watching here that super high quality. The only difference between a professional and, a, and an amateur in, in this world is um, a professional needs to make a living, <laughs> a living at it. So in a situation like this, there is no PIA when, when the, the customer says, no, I want this and I want this to fit. It's not an aggravation. It's just whatever it takes to make it happen. That's what it, it takes to make happen. And uh, we're lucky, we're blessed to be, lucky. I hate that word lucky, but we're blessed to be uh, in a world where we can work with people that have great ideas and we get to help them see that come to, to fruition. So anyway, this one, Larry, the only way we can justify the amount of time not charging you to do it is we're going to build a mold of this new piece. So I'll do my sales thing first. Spirit now offers this rear panel. It's got a place for your license plate right here for our Model A coupe. What we had to do, we had to extend this a little bit. It didn't fit really well, and it was just, it was close, but not quite. We've got it all fit in real nice tight lines here. If you look up under here, Josh, you can see what we had to do was build a flange. So this fender is a regular stock Model A fender, but the back of this, you just can't have it dangling. So we built a flange onto the fender, and we had the flange on this side, on that rear splash panel. And the way we did that, we took some tape, some two-inch tape, come back on this side. And this panel here extends all the way around. Once we had it body finished, we just pulled the fenders loose and put them... No, oh, we stuck a piece of wood in there to keep them out of the way. Just one way to do it. Finished this around like we wanted it. Took some two-inch tape and put it onto here. And then waxed that tape. So when we built the fiberglass flange going around the inside, we could just lay up the fiberglass on there and uh, just build it up to the right thickness until we had the flange. And then, uh, you probably can't remember, but the fenders, the way they came back, they came back a little straighter and come back in. So we just cut that off, tapered them, tapered them in, and I think it's got a really good look. If you look back, it's nice and symmetrical. They swoop out. Um, it is now, you could say, it's factory. It's a, <laughs> a factory install wheel. We'll build the mold off of this piece, and uh, then we can duplicate this every time. Because, I, I mean, honestly, we've probably got, I don't know, 15 or 20 hours by the time it took to think about it and do it and, and get all that done. Uh, we're now to the place where we got body lines over here. Everything's fitting good. Uh, we'll need to know, are we going to put a welting in here or are we not going to put a welting? Do you know, Josh? Yeah, probably will. So we'll talk to Larry about that. We got our our lines here. Now the fender comes around. If you're going to put fenders and running boards on, here's a tip. This corner here, start everything at this corner. If you get this corner straight, you can come around that way, and the back will go to where it goes. 
it to be the right height. You got your body line under here good. Right now we're kind of making sure our door line is good. We'll come around and all this will fit together. And if this space is, you know, an eighth inch this way or an eighth inch that way or whatever, it doesn't matter. You can't really tell there. But if this space is an eighth inch off, you'll see it. So not just a tip if you're putting running boards, fenders on a car. This is the corner you start building on and work it backwards and work it forwards from there. This is something that uh, there's never an answer for me until I'm like almost ready to paint mask and paint. Obviously we've got to paint the door jams and the door uh, jam itself off the car. Same with the trunk. It's got to be painted off the car to get underneath the trunk good or in the trunk. If you're doing a, you know, a, I'm going to say used car, but if you're doing just a complete paint job on a on a regular car, you may want to paint the jams that are already with the right color. So you'll just open it up the door and mask off the inside and you may open the door and spray the jam and then shut the door and paint it all again. Depending on the color, well, here's what I'm getting at. Do you paint the car with the doors on or the doors off? Do you paint the car with the decklet on or the decklet off? And you can do it both ways. It's really nice if you can paint the car totally disassembled and assemble it after the fact. But sometimes that's just not possible. If you're dealing with a color that, uh, if, depending on the metallic, when you put a color on, if it's got a lot of metallic, metallic is like a flake. And the flake can be, you know, flat or it can be tipped or whatever, the plate may be different angles. So to get a color match, there's always a face. So if you look at something on the face, it's one color. And then they call it the flop. If I'm looking at it down the corner or down the side, they call that the flop. Now this panel and this panel may have a different flop if I've painted them separate. But if I paint it together on the car, it's going to be the same, your spray, your your pressure is going to be the same, and um, here's a tip too. This would be in collision world mostly, but uh, sometimes you're spraying, and you're spraying, and you just can't get the color right, even though there's different alternate colors. That robot may have been spraying like this. If that robot was going down the car spraying like this, sometimes, even though this is our normal way for a, you know, the the human touch to put the paint on, it may be you need to turn your tip and and paint the car like this to get the right face and the right flop. So that's just some paint ideas. It's it's not really as technical as I'm trying to make it here. Uh, and, and I'm going to have to give it Larry now. We talked about a two-tone. We're not going to go on the line. We're going to two-tone it here somewhere. And we're we're pretty close to that. This We're feeling pretty good. We like our lines. We can clean up the body after the body's off. We like our lines and the, and the fenders. I like the back here. We've got our hood fitting. We're just going to clean up a few more lines on that. And this car is ready to blow apart. Um, and I'm just going to throw this in now. We're busy right now. We're blessed. I mean, I don't look at the numbers, Josh, but for December, we're probably as busy as we get in December. We've been busy and it's going forward. It doesn't look like it's going to slow down. So we appreciate your patience. What we don't want to do is rush a job here, and I mean this one hadn't grown roots yet, but we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna cut, cut the tires loose. This one's about ready to take take apart and go into paint. Um, we've got another Larry car that you've all been watching. We've got the the uh, front shock towers. Uh, Larry's seen it the way he likes it, and I'm I'm kind of anxious to show you that. We may show you that in the next couple of days. We'll we'll have it over. I told uh, I told Larry we're gonna smock the whole car up, kind of like you see this one, tires and all, and look at a side view. And uh, in building a car like this, you know, at this point, I don't think we have any more changes. Is there anything you can think of, Josh? No more changes? We're looking good. We can blow it apart, take it to paint. So it's coming together. It's going to paint. we got lots of other cars coming together. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I've given you a couple tips here. I know a good show to have a good good show you need uh, conflict and resolution and and character development well I'm not sure we're gonna get character development I'm, I'm the character you get and there 
if anything, I'm going backwards. But we, we do have the conflict. I mean, the conflict being, you know, what are we going to do in the back here? And, and hopefully we can show you the resolution of how to solve some of the problems when it comes to car building. That's, that's the goal of what we're doing here. And uh, so for today, here we go. We have a rear panel. I'm liking it a lot. I'm liking the shape of it. I hope you like it, Larry. Uh, I'm sure we'll talk today or tomorrow. And I have got my book. I got both of them. Coffee break contemplations and pass it on. Pass it on. Pass it on, okay. Oh, I bought a couple of pallets of wheels a few weeks ago, and Josh has about got them all sold, trailer wheels. I just dumped on them. Uh, Friday I bought about another uh, 70 or 80 wheels, so we may be running some specials. These are, man, I got wheels that are big, and I got wheels that are medium, and so uh, check the website out. There's going to be lots of good deals on wheels. Uh, do we have, I think we got one or two, maybe one uh, bulbs left for ornaments. Two left. Okay, here, and this is a good one. For, this is a good one for today. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm almost kind of glad we're intimate. If you're watching this, we're pretty intimate. There may be a thousand or so, and which is a lot of people, but I can't imagine trying to, to have a relationship with ten thousand people, or a hundred thousand, or a million people. So we appreciate you being here. We do. It is better to be loved by a few than to be known by many. So hopefully we got spirit family going on. Larry, you're part of the family. Larry, you're part of the family. I know you were worried about the CIA thing and that not even, not even close. So that's it for today. Tomorrow we'll do, I don't know what we'll do, but we'll be here tomorrow. I'm gonna be out of town Thursday and Friday, but we'll be here tomorrow and Wednesday doing, showing you something.